I remember when I saw this teacher flirting with this girl, I remember I pulled out my phone and recorded it. And what he said to this girl was actually insane. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome to a really disgusting story. Now, this story all takes place back when I was in high school and this was my grade 12 year. So the year I was graduating and basically getting ready to go through real life. And I remember my grade 12 year, I decided to take law because, well, I didn't really know what I wanted to be in the future. And I thought a lawyer would be a cool one after watching the show Suits. So I decided to basically, you know, get myself into law class for my grade 12 year. And I remember we always had this teacher that was like really like harsh with us during law because obviously the law isn't friendly. Like it is the law, you know, law and justice, law and order. I think we all know like the law is something we take very seriously. So we had a really serious teacher at the time that would teach us this. But I remember one time during the semester, I want to say around like the middle of the year almost, he ended up telling us in front of the class, okay, class, so uh, I'm going to be leaving. Uh, I'm going to be going for a bit. My wife's pregnant and having a kid. So I'm going to make sure I take care of that. I'm going to be gone for like a couple months. So you guys will have a new substitute. Hope everyone's all right with that. But if you're not, cry about it. And then he ended up leaving. I remember all of us in the classroom were really confused just looking at each other because well, like he just left. He didn't even finish class that day. But I want to say like 10 minutes later, we ended up seeing the school counselor come in and she brought this guy that was, well, I want to say he looked really young, but he was like in his thirties apparently. And he basically came up in front of the class and the counselor said, okay, class. So basically, uh, you guys know what's happening with your original law teacher, but we got a substitute that's going to be here for a couple months. I remember when I saw this teacher automatically, I knew this guy was going to be somewhat trouble. Cause like, I'm be free with you. He looked really, really sus. But when it came to all the girls in the class, classroom, one thing I started to realize was that all the girls in there started to stare at him as if he was a hotcake. Like, I am not joking. They were like eyes wide open, staring at this teacher as if he was like a supermodel, which don't get me wrong. He was charming, but like he was still like way older than us. You know what I mean? Like I found it weird. The age gap, like there's no way we can find this guy attractive because he's like, what, 10 years older than us? Like, yikes, bro. Like hundred percent. No, no. But obviously these girls didn't care. They were going through hormones and I guess, well, I don't know. They were all really excited for this new law teacher. So it is what it is. But I will say this during class that day, I remember once the counselor left and he started teaching us law, a lot of girls would raise their hands and stuff. And you know, we'd all participate in law class because while well, a lot of us that were in there enjoyed it, like it was actually fun. No matter how serious it was, all of us in the classroom enjoyed law and talking about it. But one thing I did not like about this teacher is that anytime any guy would raise their hand automatically, he would never pick any of the guys to basically, you know, answer the question. He'd always pick girls that had like, you know, big cherries or he would always pick girls that had the most makeup on like even like there was like an ugly girl in our class and i'm not joking like she was like a zero out of ten and she like wouldn't even get picked it was mostly the girls that would like you know dress up and cake their face and like you know have their cherries almost popping out that were mostly getting picked to answer questions interact with the class and it kind of ruined law for a lot of us after class that day i remember it was lunch and me and all my friends we ended up basically meeting up in the cafeteria and we all started to talk about this law teacher that we all hated like it made no sense why he was like this and honestly a lot of us were just really upset but i remember as all of us were just ranting about this teacher out of nowhere one of the girls that were in my law class that cakes her face and basically has her cherries always out because she's always wearing crop tops for some reason ended up passing by us and said oh like you guys are just jealous because like we're smarter than you like maybe like actually try in class and maybe you get picked and she walked away at that moment we knew she was just yapping and just being annoying but one thing was for sure we were definitely upset but i gotta say what ends up happening next made us even more upset because I want to say like two weeks went by and the teacher never changed. Like he was always picking favorites. He was always choosing the girls. Like he was a terrible teacher. But I remember there was one time specifically after two weeks of him teaching us where basically he ended up talking about like, I don't know, civil rights and stuff. And basically the class was supposed to have like a huge debate on this because obviously civil rights is something that, well, I guess the world can never just have a proper understanding of for some reason. And out of nowhere, I remember there was a girl that put her hand up and she's like, Oh, like all guys and girls are literally the same thing. Like if the world didn't have guys, like we all be fine. And I remember all the guys just started laughing at her and stuff. And instantly this teacher comes up in front of the classroom and says, everyone quiet right now. Don't be rude to her. All right. Who do you guys think you guys are? I remember all of us went silent because we did not know why he was so upset. And we were all just looking at each other thinking, whoa, like that's
that's kind of insane. And then what he ends up saying afterwards, I gotta say was really disgusting because he ended up walking towards the girl, putting his arm around her as if like he was dating this girl and said, you guys gotta understand women as beautiful as this girl right here all deserve the same rights as us guys do. When he said this, I didn't know what was worse. The fact that he thought guys had more rights or the fact that he called this girl that was literally in high school, that was literally 17, beautiful. Like at this point, me and the class, we started looking at each other as if like, did we all hear the same thing? Looking at each other, super confused. And this girl, she was taking so much pride after that. And she was like putting herself on a high horse to the point where all of us were just so annoyed that day. It even got to the point where some of the guys ended up leaving the classroom because well, they didn't want to be in that environment anymore. And I didn't blame them. I actually ended up leaving as well. And as me and all the guys were just walking down the hallways during class, like, no joke. All of us were just talking about how we really just wanted to get rid of this teacher. So what me and like four other guys decided to do was basically go to the counselor's office and basically tell on him. And when we went in there, I remember we all sat down with this counselor and I ended up saying, I'm not going to lie to you, ma'am. Like this teacher that you gave us, he only cares about the girls in the classroom. Like he doesn't even talk to us guys. Like he doesn't interact with us. And honestly, the classroom hasn't been the same since he's been there. At this moment, the counselor looked at all of us and saw that we were being really serious about what was going on. And she ended up walking back with us to class to basically figure out what was happening. When we got back in class, I remember the counselor kind of just sat in the back of the class and was observing what was going on. And I am not joking. It was like something snapped in this teacher where he pretended to basically be all inclusive and started like, you know, picking guys instead of just girls. And it was really, really weird because, well, one minute he's acting, you know, like a weirdo with the girls. And the next minute he's acting like a normal teacher. At this moment, we thought maybe like, you know, he learned his lesson. You know, he's not going to do anything weird again. But the next week after, after. I am not joking. Something insane happened where I remember one month went by and he was basically acting the same, you know, with always picking the girls and, you know, basically favoriting the girls in our classroom and even flirting with them in class. Like it was getting super weird because he would call these girls hot. And it got to the point where one time he actually ended up squeezing a girl's cherry in class. Like it was super bad. But I got to say one of the weirdest things that ended up happening was that after one month of him teaching us, there was a moment where he ended up going in front of the classroom towards the end of class and he looked at all of us saying all right class uh everyone good job on everything uh by the way uh can i talk to you after class and he ended up pointing at a girl that was well i guess one of his favorites she ended up nodding her head yes and all of us guys were confused because she wasn't failing she didn't do anything wrong during class so why in the world did this teacher want to talk to her after school until after school came around we started to realize that this teacher had something else in mind where basically after class that day me and the guys we started kind of like looking through the outside window and kind of started looking inside the classroom to see what was going on and why she was there. And the moment this girl ended up walking in after school, I am not joking. Instantly, this teacher ended up walking up to this girl and started cuddling with her, grabbing her and doing a bunch of stuff that a teacher shouldn't do. And literally calling her like his baby and stuff. Like it was so gross. And I remember at this moment, I looked at my friends and said, I'm pulling out my phone right now. And I pulled out my phone. I started recording this just so I can show the principal. And I'm not joking. Right after I got that recording, I ran straight to the principal's office and told on him. Obviously, when I showed the principal, he was in disbelief belief, but obviously I had video evidence. So he believed me and all of us guys ended up going to basically the same classroom and we ended up getting him in trouble. I remember when we walked into the classroom with the principal and the girl and the teacher saw us there, he got really panicked the teacher because well, you know, he obviously got caught and he knew it. But I think the saddest part was seeing this girl's eyes and realizing that what was going on in that classroom, if I didn't stop it, who knows what would have happened to her. In a way, I don't want to say I saved her life or anything, but I definitely felt better that day. And if you guys would do the same thing and tell on this teacher, then just fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.